Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Mohamed Al Ramzi, who is Executive Director of Regulatory Affairs for the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, the TRA in the United Arab Emirates. And he's also, of course, Chair of WTIS 18. Hello. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the studio. Now, I'd like to start talking to you a little bit about uh, this event. How important do you think is WTS in the overall development of the telecommunication and ICT industry? Well, uh, you know, the ICT industry actually is uh, a very um, rapidly changing industry. And um, it generates a lot of data, a lot of indicators. Uh, for sure, I mean, you need s some mechanism to capture this data, to measure it, and also to be a reference for your development. So decision makers in each country, they can rely on those indicators and, th and see how they are developing in terms of economic and social development. So when we have an event like a WTIS that gathers all expertise from different sectors, from ICT, from policy makers, from the industry, from academia, they, they be in one place and they uh, uh, share their experience on how to gather this data, how to properly measure it, how to use it as a reference for policy development. Absolutely, this is a very, very re required event and uh, all, uh, all countries need to participate in it. Now, WCIS is all about tracking the evolution of the ICT sector. From your country's perspective, how easy is it to track this fast evolving sector? Well, in our country, I mean, it was actually inherited in the vision of the country. So we have a vision 2021 for UAE, in which they, are, uh, they have different indicators and they have assigned it to different entities. So ICT is, uh, is actually uh, put for the uh, regulator there. So we have a specific ICT that we are looking at it, how to gather data, how to monitor its development year after year. So this is actually inherited in our vision and our strategies as well. Now, the figures came out last week, 51, approximately 51.1% 51 .1 of the global population is now using the internet, is now connected to the internet. Yes. What more do you think countries can do to bring more people online? Um, I think three issues that we need to concentrate uh, on it. And I think two of them, we are all countries that are working on it, the affordability and availability. And I think we are doing very well in those uh, two factors. The third one, which I think we need to put more effort in it, is to availability of content. We need to develop content for uh, other people so that they will be uh, bound to uh, to have internet connection. In addition, how to uh, to utilize ICT to provide services to tele for uh, education, for health sector, for example. And if we, if we do this, we will increase the percentage of people who are, uh, will be connected to the Internet. Raul Katz, who was sitting where you were sitting today this morning, said Wikipedia, for example, the majority of the content there is in English. So we really need much more content uh, exactly. in Arabic, for example. Exactly. Finally, what key messages will participants be taking away from this year's symposium, do you think? I think is they will realize the importance of uh, the indicators and how they we, we can work collaboratively, how to collect this data properly analyze it and uh, provide those data for uh, organization like an ITU. This is for their, their own benefits. They can track their development. And I think this is the major key that we want to deliver out of WTIS. Well, we wish you the very best of luck with the rest of the conference. And thank you very much for joining us in the studio Thank today. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.